Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Mikey's channel. I am Anna and today I am taking over and showing you the process of how I made Dove Cameron. Well, specifically the boyfriend version. So we're starting by taking off that lipstick. It's not going to work for us. We want more beautiful, luscious lips. And the ones she currently had were definitely not the right shape. So then I went ahead and I said, why not take off those brows, right? We don't need those. Uh. And it's 100% acetone, just taking Q-tip, going over. And then I thought, why not the eyelashes too? I know what you're thinking. But Anna, have you ever painted lashes before? No. No, I haven't. And I'm not about to start today. I am going to give her fake lashes later. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because we're going to take chances today. We are going to possibly ruin this doll. <laughs> Hopefully not. Let me know what you think at the end, but please watch all the way through before skipping. Don't skip, please. I need you because we're besties and besties give tips like don't put too much water on your brush or you'll have to do what I did, which is like start over on her left eye because I practically drowned it. But anyway, so we're just taking a gray and creating a shadow. We're just doing all paints today because um, that's what I decided on doing. So it's just going over and over again with that gray, kind of giving it a gradient, lighter on the inner corner. It takes a long time, make sure to let it dry between each layer. At this point, you can see she kind of is not giving Dove Cameron. She's giving, oh god, what mess is this that you've made? But it gets better soon. It's one of those trust the processes. I feel like um, we're just going over and over again until those layers really build up, correcting all those smudges and errors. There's a lot of them. <laughs> Definitely the scariest part was doing the liner because it was going to be a very difficult thing to fix if I messed up too much. And yes, I do put paint on my thumb. <laughs> We're just going over those lips again for like the thousandth time. Really building up that color. Starting to see that color build up there, which is great. We're getting there somewhere. You may have noticed that the brows were there suddenly appeared. I wasn't able to record that as I had to pretty much hold her on my lap to get the best angle to make sure that they were mostly even. They're definitely sisters, not twins. But now we're just going over it with a nice sealant of polyurethane to seal that all in. I then later off camera went over just her eyes with resin so that they're super shiny and I don't have to actually draw on any catch lights because there will be natural ones. Now we are moving right into hair. You can take your ball of yarn and realize that you have a massive knot you have to deal with it. Rage. Anyway, so after I spent like five minutes detangling it, uh, yeah, so you're just gonna take your cardboard, okay? And you're gonna wrap it around like a thousand times until you have enough what I like to call worms. They're my yarn worms. And then you're gonna take a super sharp pair of scissors, poke yourself, yeah, super smart, cry about it. And then continue on just snipping that end free and now you have worms i needed more worms so i went ahead and cut more and now that you have those worms you can take out some cardboard lay that down and take out your cooling racks for cookies multi-purpose here so you're going to separate a few pieces of yarn fold it over in half put it through the cooling rack I did a very excellent professional not failing at all demonstration of that as you can see and you just pull it through like that mm -hmm. now you're gonna do that like a hundred more times until all of your worms are on the cooling rack isn't it beautiful a worm army so now you're going to take a pet brush or a wire brush and you're just gonna start at the ends and work your way up to the very top. Sometimes you can flip it over to make sure you have both of the ends brushed out and you will turn them into fluffy worms. That's right, and you can use the worm leftovers as pillow stuffing. Now you're gonna take a straightening iron on the lowest setting and just slowly, slowly go over each one. Seemingly the slower you go, the smoother the hair, and it comes out gorgeous and soft. And then you're just going to repeat that on all of your fluffy worms. 
now that we finished with that, we're gonna take some plastic doll packaging, some hairy glue from previous uh, herring, and some bird poo water, those sharp pokey scissors again. And we're just gonna trim off some of that silkworm, just like that. Dip it in the bird poo water, get off the excess, down into the glue. Oh yeah, it's got a hair in it. Wonderful, beautiful. Wipe off the excess, find more hair. Just don't mind that. And right over to the plastic packaging where you're just gonna almost drop the camera and then glue them down to that plastic. Perfect. And now it's time to remove them. <laughs> Oops, you didn't see that. Pat down your silky rodent and it's time to glue them to her head. But what's this? No makeup? Where'd it go? Well, I didn't want to risk accidentally cutting off the lashes I applied off camera to the other one, so I used my Dove Cameron from a previous video I've done, which you can check out by clicking the i card in the top right corner of this video. So now we're just doing the usual going around the head, placing down wefts, brushing as we go, and then creating the part line by gluing two in the opposite directions. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> So once we finished, I take a very skinny curling iron that I got on Amazon and I set it to 325, I believe is what I had it set, but always check your yarn first. But yeah, so I set it to that, started curling, I used a heat protectant glove so I didn't burn myself, and I just went around the whole head curling that hair. And now it's fashion time. So I just got the original dove, pulled her back in, slid on those gorgeous clothes, Got the shoes on the wrong side, of course, it's me. <laughs> and with that, she is finished. Hi guys! Thank you so much for watching, but be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. And if you like this video, be sure to watch these. Thanks so much for watching! <laughs> See you later!